We are great. Thank you for coming on our show tonight, Paul. Sure. Uh, so first order of business, um, even though you've completed it uh, a little while ago, you've got a new book coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Windows Phone 7 Secrets. And is there an ETA on when that will be available to the public? I have a hard time deciphering the emails I get about this, but I my understanding is that it will ship from the warehouses at the very end of October. Okay. So possibly right around that time or maybe early November. Early so okay and uh, and you've also got a book out right now Windows uh, 7 Secrets. Right, right. And and how long has that been out on the market now? Mm, almost a year, I guess. It must have come out I guess it was last October. Okay, and uh, uh, by the way, I have read that book. Uh, I think I read it about three months ago. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Um, It is a big book. (laughs) Yes, uh, it is a big book, but you know what? Uh, It's got some great tips on there. I've learned some things about Windows 7 I did not know before reading your book. But let's cut right to the heart of some things. The first thing I want to know, Paul, um, is why did you choose – uh, technology reporting uh, as your career. I'm screwing with my camera here. That's sorry. all. That's all right. Uh, you know, I originally didn't, and I, I like many people uh, who do what we do. Probably, I was an enthusiast, you know, from the early days, and I was actually, interestingly, in a in a couple of I worked in banking, and one of the banks I worked at was failing, and um, Actually, two of the banks that worked at failed. That's coincidental, I assume. But um, we had a lot of downtime, and I would, you know, spend the days reading about computers and and uh, you know computer programming and so forth. And I was always very interested in this. I was a self-taught programmer and wanted to get into this field. And at some point, I just decided I was going to make it happen. And and my wife and I would try to uh, get jobs. Uh, we were going to move to Arizona at the time, and and it was just a. I eventually decided to go back to school. Uh, for computers and did so out in Arizona and it just kind of snowballed. I mean, I met people and uh, I met the guy who uh, got me into writing uh, the books originally mm-hmm. and um, I started the newsletter, the original newsletter, the WinInfo newsletter at the college I was working at at the time. I was managing a computer lab and, and the reason I started the newsletter was I was uh, somewhat taken aback by how little a lot of the people around me knew about what was going on in the industry. Mm-hmm. So I would forward them these uh, emails where I would say, hey, look, this is what's going on, and this is why I think it's important. And, you know, a friend of mine uh, asked, you know, said, why don't we turn this into a, a listserv, and you can make a mailing list out of it. And it kind of, you know, it was just one of those things that happened over. Thanks, Paul. Okay, a little glitch with uh with Skype, where we were talking about writing, and you were in Arizona. There was a professor there that worked with you with writing? Well, originally he was a professor. I, I literally, uh, the summer that I arrived in Arizona, I took a, a number of classes, but one of them was a C++ programming class, and this, uh, this guy was a professor and, and, and taught the class, and I I still consider him probably the smartest person I've ever met. Okay. Maybe too smart, you know, scary smart. Right. And uh, he... He just approached this all just from a different way. I thought this was a, just an interesting way to approach prog- programming. But at some point, he asked me if I would be interested in tech editing a book that he was working on with one of the other professors that they had derived from some class materials they had made on, on visual basic programming. So this would have been back in 1993, maybe 1994 time frame. Okay. And, of course, you know, I, I was ecstatic to, you know, to help out. <laughs> right. Right, and at some point, you know, we said, well, you know, maybe you'd be interested in uh, writing a little bit of it, and I said, yeah, sure, 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 and um, eventually, I became the lead author somehow on this book, and you know, it was it was a it was a brave moment for me as a, a young man, you know, to right. go to this guy and say, you know, maybe my name should be first on the book if I'm writing it. You, you didn't, you really? <laughs> uh, he, okay. he said, yeah, yeah okay, sure. so yeah, he's good yeah. with that. And him and I went on to write a number of books uh, together, uh, both for the educational market and for the mainstream press uh, market. But, you know, I asked him many times, I, how, what made you think that I could do this? You know, I, there was nothing to suggest that I could write or contribute in any meaningful fashion to this project or whatever. And 
And his reply, which is useless, uh, you know, to this day, uh-huh. was just, oh, I, I knew you could do it. You know, I could tell. And, okay. Well, he was <laughs> scary know. smart, right? So He was scary smart. Yeah. So he knew that you would uh, be able to pull that off. 